Hi, let's practice doing one of the quiz questions that you've got today. So here I have a circuit that's just like what you've got in the quiz, uh, only the values change. All of the circuits are the same, uh, same shape anyway. And here I have R1, R2, R3, and R4. That's these two and these two. And the values are 20, 40, 30, and 60. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify what we've got up here. I've got a pair of circuit, a pair of resistors in parallel, and I have another pair of resistors in parallel, and those two pairs are in series with each other. So let's first work out what we can about the first pair of resistors, R1 and R2. To solve for the parallel circuit, uh, which I'll just call R12, that's going to be equal to, um, well, 1 over that is going to be equal to 1 over 20 ohms, plus 1 over 40 ohms. So the total of that is um, is going to be uh, 3 over 40 ohms. So R12 is going to be equal to 40 over 3, 13.333, call it that, ohms. I'm going to leave that long number there to... Uh, uh, before I round, I'm going to round uh, at the end. So my next parallel circuit here is R3, R4. So 1 over R3, 4 is going to be equal to 1 over 30 plus 1 over 60, which is going to be equal to, uh, that'll be equal to 3 over 60, which is, uh, then I can say uh, R3, 4 is equal to 60 over 3, which is equal to 20 ohms. So that means I've got a 13 ohm and a 20 ohm circuit or resistor in this circuit in series with each other. So RT is going to be equal to my 13.333 plus 20, which is equal to 33.333. 333 three, three ohms. If my voltage is 100 volts, then I can solve for my IT, my current total, that's going to be equal to VT over RT, which is equal to 100 volts divided by 33.33 33 ohms. So that's obviously equal to 3 amps. So IT is equal to 3 amps. Now knowing that, um, I can solve for the voltage drop across the first resistor pair and the second resistor pair. Remember, I'm going to treat them as if they're a single resistor that has the resistance of this parallel circuit. So since I know the IT and the resistance for each one, I can solve for the voltage. So V12 is equal to IT times R12, which means it's equal to 3 amps times 13.333, which is equal to 40 volts. V34 is going to be equal to, well, if that's 100 volts, we know this is going to be 60 volts, but let's go on and prove it. Okay? IT times R34, and that's going to be equal to 3 amps times our 20 volts, or pardon me, 20 ohms, which is equal to 60 volts. Now, remember that this is a parallel circuit, so the voltage here and the voltage here are the same, which means V1 and V2 are both 40 volts. V3 and V4 are both 60 volts. Since we know the voltage drop and the resistance, we can also calculate the current for R1 and R2. We know that the current for R1 and for R2 together have to add up to 3 amps, because all of the current has to go either through R1 or R2 before it comes back together again. The same will be true of 3 and 4. But let's go on and get those anyway. I'm going to switch colors here. So I1 
is going to be equal to V1 over R1, which is going to be equal to 40 volts, divided by, and R1, we said was 20 ohms. So 40 over 20 is 2 amps. I2 is going to be equal to V2 over R2. So again, 40 volts over, and R2 is 40 ohms. So that's equal to 1 amp. If we add those up, we've got 2 amps going up through R1 and 1 through the other. So that adds up 3 amps, which is our total amperage. Now we'll do 3 and 4. So I3 will be equal to V2, uh, or pardon me, V3, 4, that's 60 volts. 60 volts divided by R3 is 30 ohms. So that's going to be equal to 2 amps. And I4 is equal to 60 volts divided by 60 ohms. That's going to be equal to 1 amp. So these are our currents. Notice that these two add up to 3, and these two add up to 3, because the current, the 3 amps of current going through here splits and comes together, splits and comes together. But either way, whenever it's together, it has to total the total current. Our voltage of 100 volts is divided between the two separate series resistors. And again, the first thing we did was we solved to make this into a single series resistor and this into a single series resistor just so that we could get the currents and the voltage uh, for the totals. And then we split them back apart and we went to get the individual currents. Hope this helps.